All right, we're back for round three. We're one and one, looking to finish with a positive record. Obviously not mulling this, because it has a library of Alexandria. The opening hand is exactly where you want your library of Alexandria. So we're just gonna sit back and enjoy our stream of card flow. Turn one, death right shaman. Interesting. Draw a card. Super fair magic card. Next turn, I'm probably going to play Trinket Mage and go get my Mox. Mm, actually, I don't know if that's true. We might just want to keep drawing cards with our library. Yeah, let's just draw another card. Oops. Oh, we have eight cards in hand, so we have to play a land first. What a shame. I guess I just don't have I guess I don't have to draw right away. And I would have to discard. We also want to save this Trinket Mage, probably, because we might want to go get Pithing Needle if he plays a problematic uh, permanent. He's exiling my Misty. Alright. Maybe we should have not cracked the fetch right away. Playing a Heartbeat of Spring. Not advisable. Uh, I will respond, however, by drawing a card. Because now we get to untap with a million mana. Soccer Tribe Elder, alright. Uh, so, we have a lot of options of what we can do next turn. I think the play I like best is just Elspeth and continue to hold up Library. Next turn he's going to be able to make 10 mana, which is quite a lot, which could be scary, but then we'll have, like, we have some answers to what he is able to do. So let's go land, 2, 4, 6, Elspeth, plus 1. And pass. Plus, if he plays some big scary planeswalker or whatever, we can go get Paving Needle. And it's if it's some big scary creature, we can just control magic it. And barring all of that, we can just Sphinx's Revelation for seven. As if we don't have enough cards yet with this library. Alright. You get to untap with your heartbeat, do your worst. Shock. You got 10 mana. Six of it. Eight. Nine. Ooh, is he villainous while thing me? That would be pretty good. Turnabout. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, he's got a lot of mana. If this is a villainous wealth, I'm very scared. Looks like it is something. Maelstrom Pulse my Elspeth. It's not bad. Two cards left. How bad could it be? If he taps himself out completely, uh, what's happening here? He's exiling something. He's exiling his own Maelstrom Pulse. Deal me two. Okay, there's a lot of mana. Up, oh boy. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's bad news. Let's draw a card. Uh, 
Yeah. So if he has one other big scary thing to play, then that's really good for him. But if he just replays Heartbeat, I guess I could live with that. It looks like that's all that's happening. So now he just has five lands and an unknown in hand. We drew Seeker. It's not bad. Uh, I guess I'm just going to play Library again and pass. Or I could play just, or I could just play Seeker this turn. It's probably better. Not to go to discard. Let's pitch a couple planes. Let's pitch uh, one of our islands. We'll probably pitch one of these spells. I think uh, we could play turn two Narset. I'm going to pitch this Amiri Angel. Could be good, but all of our other spells are going to probably be more interactive. Um, Simulacrum, that's not a bad one. We'd let us get ahead of him in mana. It's probably better than uh, playing Narset this turn, even though we would trigger Prowess. Let's just attack first. Never a player taps a land for mana. Yep, just making sure library taps for two. So we'll go get a basic island out of our deck. So I think we're still ahead here, but <laughs> definitely not the scariest upheaval I've ever seen. He probably would have been better served not playing his land for turn before the upheaval. He's going to gain some life, it looks like. It's fine with me. So he has access to 5 mana this turn, but... <laughs> I mean, he couldn't do anything too scary with, like, 15 mana, so... Can't imagine that I'm too afraid of anything that happens here. Um, four spike seems less than ideal against the Heartbreed of Spring. Uh, I'm probably just gonna draw a card with Library first, see what's up. So I can play Trinket, or er, excuse me, I can play Narset. Let's start with Narset actually. Trigger Prowess. Um, always yield, always yield. <laughs> we could rebound to Sphinx's Revelation, but that does not seem good. It's just plus one. See what's going on up top. Just a land. Um, I'll play a basic island. And we will smash. Next turn we could Revelation for 7 if we wanted to. Seems alright. We've drawn a lot of extra cards this turn, or this game. He's just going to continue to gain some life, that's fine. I can't imagine this Force Spike being too relevant this game, but you never know. Maybe he casts a 7 drop this turn. We found red mana, that could be relevant. Looks like it is. Imperial Recruiter. That's uh, that's pretty terrifying. He's got a, uh, a s presumably a smorgasbord of options to go f fetch up with that. Yeah, I really wish this deck had some more hard removal. Phyrexian Metamorph. 
Okay, that's pretty scary. We could force spike it, but he can just pay with death rate. So are we just going to let him have a Narset here? We don't have much options. I'm surprised he chose not to... Like, I feel like it was a mistake for him to uh, to not use the death rate, but he like kind of got rewarded for his for his misplay. If that makes sense, maybe that means he doesn't realize the death rate can activate. But it just seems pretty loose. Yikes! I'm just gonna let it happen. I guess you can get a... I was thinking of a clever impersonator. He can't actually copy an R-set. He's just going to copy, like, Solemn Simulacrum here. So maybe I should have force spiked realizing that now. Even though he would still probably pay. Maybe in, like, the 0.01% chance he forgets. Because now force spike is just super dead. I guess it might not be dead if he goes for a full-on Villainous Wealth, not playing around force spike. So that could be interesting. Um, I guess I'm just plussing Narset again. We haven't hit with the Narset yet, but we do have a pretty high probability of it. And we hit Oblivion Ring. Um, so what do I want to do with that Oblivion Ring is the question. I sort of want to hit his Heartbreak, Heartbeat of Spring. I can deal with whatever other problem permanence he plays, and this keeps him off infinite mana, turns my force spike back on, which all seem like good things to me. So I think I'm going to go, let's see, I want to try to use all my mana now. I'm not going to Sphinx's Revelation, even though I can do it for a million, I just don't think that's necessary. It's just kind of overkill. So let's play Planes. Let's see, one, two, for O-Ring, and then Yeah, so we're gonna go that draw card. See what we hit. Oh yes, mana drain. That does change my play this turn. So we're gonna O-Ring the Heartbeat and hold up mana drain. I'm not going to attack with the Seeker, even though it is Prowess now. Because then he gets to draw a card with Simulacrum, which I don't really want. I think. Um, is that right? No, I think I am going to attack anyway. We have to win the game somehow. No, actually, yeah, it is wrong because I want to protect my Narset as well. We are ahead in life, but Let's see if he offers the Simulacum trade. I probably will accept that. Looks like he does. Block. Make sure that registered. Sometimes it moto lags and it doesn't let you. So we're both going to get to draw. Don't know who, who that favors more. Probably him right now. Except that we got to protect our Narset, so I will draw a card. Ooh, bribery. What do you got? A lot of mana. Thragtusk. Um... What do I want to do about that? I guess I'll mana drain it and then just Sphinx's Revelation for a million. I was trying to think if I could let that resolve and then find another way to deal with it, but I'm not going to get greedy. Drag Tusk is pretty good right here. So we'll add a bunch of mana. Too bad it's not colored mana. Um, 
So we can revelation for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can do it for seven. Or I can just bribery. Maybe I want to just narset first. I could minus narset and bribery him twice. That also seems pretty good. The mana drain mana goes to waste. Uh, maybe not, because then we can just play Trinket Mage. Yeah, let's minus Narset. Cast Bribery. And then we can decide what to do from there. Whoops, let's cancel that. Cast Bribery on you. Get a bunch of triggers. Yeah, casting double Bribery seems like a good way to win games. What do we got? Okay, nothing super broken. Looks like he's got Splinter Twin combo in his deck, so that could be scary. Um, I can get Snapcaster Mage, which doesn't do much right now. Infiltrator, I don't need to draw more cards. Mystic Snake doesn't do anything. I think I just get Acidic Slime and blow up his mountain. Is that correct? I could just get Deceiver Exarch and not have to worry about the combo. It's probably the best option. That just sort of removes a lot of win conditions from his deck. Um, yeah. I think that's right. I could also Trinket Mage for a... Um, let's tap. Sorry, I'm thinking. I was going to say we could Trinket Mage for a Pithing Needle, so we don't have to worry about the combo in that sense, but... This just seems a little safer. Just gonna make a mana, why not? Let's draw a card before we do anything else. Basic Island, I'll play that. Um, so now I could play Trinket Mage or hold up Force Spike. I guess I should have taken a screenshot again. We're gonna get to Bribery again next turn as well. Which I neglected to remember, so maybe I should have chosen my options a little differently. Um, I think I want to play Trinket Mage with my extra mana. Force Spike's unlikely to be good here. Maybe I should have gotten Acidic Slime just so we can't blow up my O-Ring or something. But anyway, Trinket Mage will go get our Pithing Needle. And then we will just... Uh, attack with our seeker and we should have enough gas to win the game at this point but we haven't quite locked it up yet we have so much value we don't know what to do with it all I'm also running a little low on time I've already used up 12 minutes and this is game one so I need to sort of pick up the pace here as well I'm just going to F6 through his turn here. Next turn I get to Bribery again. Probably hit Acidic Slime. Chase Architect of Thought is fine. I'm just going to Bribery that, or Pithy Needle that next turn. Um, you can have a couple mountains, bro. <laughs> he just concedes. Okay, well, I'm glad he conceded, because that means we don't have to rush through the next couple of turns. If he'd been aware of the clock, he probably would have kept going. So, he's got the Splinter Twin combo. He's got a Ambitious Mana Base again, so we'll do the Strip Mine thing. And I'm going to cut a Plains this time instead of an Island, because we had that really frustrating loss round two, not having our Islands. So that seems more important. What else? What else? Leonin Arbiter, no. Ranger, no. Venser, no. Yeah, I don't really need to change much. We're just going to run it back. 